I would recommend you guys definitely don't be afraid to ask your family for corrections when you don't know what words are. And don't be afraid to laugh stuff off because you will make mistakes and it happens and that's okay. So I'd say it's very normal to be nervous and uh, you're probably going to be pretty bad at Spanish starting out speaking to them, but that should not stop you from at least trying. And also, you'd be good to get some earbuds or some earplugs when you try sleeping because there is a lot of traffic noise around here. Um, even if you have a lot of work to do that day, um, just don't close yourself up in your room and just be doing your homework all day because there's a lot of value of learning that you can do with your family at the same time. It's just as good as homework <laughs> and also if you have host siblings definitely talk to them a lot because usually children are like a very low pressure audience for practicing your Spanish and um, like I said like they have a lot to teach you too. Um, just take advantage of any moment where you can just sit and have a conversation with your family uh, whether that be at meals or maybe watching TV or the news together it's, it's really valuable. Um, if you don't want to eat something, uh, tell your mom before she cooks it or gives it to you so you don't feel awkward about wasting food. <laughs> I would definitely recommend going to any family parties that your family goes to. That's a great way to get to know them and see them in an environment that's a little different than your regular house routine. Um, and I would just say be, be really patient with using the bathroom or getting food because customs are, are different here. Um, I think I would say just start talking to your families immediately. Don't let your lack of Spanish ability limit you because it's really important to just set that tone that you want to talk to.